Hi everyone. My name is Jan uh, and I'm business development manager here at Alvo. And I'm Yuri and I'm a solution consultant. And we wanted to put together a brief video for you where we show you really just a quick walkthrough Alvo. Uh, as for the company, we've been on the market for 25 years and we've done over uh, 1000 implementations. And uh, our Alvo as such is quite a mature and powerful tool. So, uh, you know, in terms of raising a ticket and solving the ticket, it allows you a lot of variable channels and approaches. But uh, specifically for this video, we just wanted to show you uh, a scenario uh, where you can see the benefits of having item solution and ITSM solution in one tool. So I'm going to hand over uh, this presentation to Yiri and uh, Yiri, can you please walk us through this particular case? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm going to play uh, the role of Veronica, uh, which is our um, uh, model employee. So let's let's see what, what options uh, she has. So what, one option is using this uh, search bar. Uh, so when I'm when I want to because she's she a sales assistant. So when I when she's writes just sales, she can see relevant uh, knowledge articles, her past requests and maybe uh, creating new ticket. So let's say she wants to change uh, an existing report. So this is a form which we which she can do it and do it which way she can do it. Uh, also, there is other way like browsing or going through the self service portal or self service uh, catalog. So there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, departments with their services. So let's say IT. Uh, Dynamics 365 and sales module. And they are prepared like request models and incident models, so I can do the same here. So you can see it's the same the same form. So when I go back, uh, the specific agendas are here as well. But in this specific case, I, I want to uh, say that my uh, mobile phone is not working. So the best way how to do it is is do it through my my assets section. So I will just click on my iPhone. And you can see there are some relevant uh, services or incident and service request models based on this asset type mobile phone. Uh, and she can also see some of the attributes. Uh, we will later later see it uh, from a different perspective. So I will say from here I want to report an issue. Uh, the mobile phone is automatically linked here, which can be really handy for later use and evaluation from the solver part and I will just say that uh, I broke its glass something something like that it so happens to me all the time yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope it happened to me more than once so uh, the service does thank thanks her for it uh, so that's a, just confirmation that uh, we received the ticket uh, so there is this communication parts so far there's nothing nothing here uh, but later on, there could be like uh, longer communication with HTML5 and so on. Uh, general, which you can see uh, what attributes uh, she's allowed to see. And solving process, like what are the expectations for what is going to happen? So in this case, this is incident, so there is no approval, but that could be in, in cases for some like request or, or change. Also, I can see that uh, it's currently in this in this status new. And the, the current target is the first response. So based on the SLA or the sell, service level, uh, based on Veronica as a, as a user and also the service that something is bad. With yeah, the I, I noticed. Sorry, yeah. I noticed that you uh, you never actually entered the, the subject of the ticket, but it's here. You know, as Apple iPhone not working. So how does that work? Yeah, basically we, we want to we want to make it as simple as possible for the user. So uh, this is just config configuration that I configured this form, the specific form for reporting an issue with a mobile phone that it's just uh, put together automatically with the name of the of the iPhone. There is some static text not working and I also included this uh, username. So it could be different. Uh, we have a, like there could be more advanced forms. Uh, with mandatory items, a lot of fields, some some automated automation there and so on, but that could be really, really simple. Just mm. subject description attachment maybe. 
maybe to add to that in our experience, it's uh, it's possible in Alba to configure a complex form to gather all kind of diagnostic information. But most of the time, if you want uh, your users to use the self-service portal, make it as easier for them as possible. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, the part of the onboarding or like administrator of the customer is like uh, able to able to do it. It's it's really nice to do. So from 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 uh, Veronica's part, this is all. She did her part. So she contacted Alva or uh, contacted IT IT uh, solvers, and now she will just sign out, and I will uh, put the code of James, who is our IT solver. So let's sign in here, and you can. Yeah, see. I have to have another question. Uh, you are using this, you know, login page, but uh, don't don't we have the, you know, single sign-on working? Yeah, yeah, our customers never see this login page because we are using a single sign-on, like either either connected to Active Directory, either like on-prem or most most commonly later or uh, these days to Azure Active Directory. So if the customer has like two-factor authentication in place, it will be used for uh, for this uh, for our Alvo as well. Mm, thank you. So we, we can see that uh, James has several tabs here. Uh, so again, like there are some basic ones uh, you can prepare or we can pre prepare together during the implementation specific specific uh, tabs uh, for specific uh, ticket types, let's say, and you can you can filter filter them. Uh, as, in, as in Microsoft Excel and so on, and I can create, I can say that any 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 field that exists in the in the tool can be put there as a column, and I can filter, sort, and so on. So in in this case, you can see also there is a number one here, which means that there is one unread uh, uh, ticket within this tab. So it's this one from Veronica. Maybe you know. Maybe maybe you, you can say like why it's why it's here. Why it's like here uh, at the at the bottom almost. That's because we are sorting the tickets based on the current target. So based on the service levels that are attached uh, to their to the tickets. So at the top we can see the tickets that are either like uh, past deadline, which is in this case, or approaching the deadline, uh, or how many how many hours remain during the operating hours so in this case we have like 30 32 hours uh to first response which is quite a lot but let's let's take this one because it's it's the easiest one and james likes veronica uh so so he will just read read this you can see it's un unread and i i will just assign it to me maybe maybe before i do that just notice here that the Status is new and the current target is the first response. But when I assign it to me, uh, it's configured that uh, based on like first assignment, the status is changed to solution. And also based on that, uh, in this specific case, we sent an email to Veronica uh, that the ticket has already has a solver, which, set, which means that the first response has been uh, fulfilled. So the current target is, is resolution. OK, so let's look at the tabs here. You can see there is a lot of options how to, what to do with the ticket based on my role as an IT solver and uh, the current status of the ticket. So it, that's all. So everything is logged here to communication. You can also choose to see the detailed log with the full audit trail, uh, whereas everything like every change is logged here. So you really see everything. Maybe, maybe just to add, uh, we yeah. can just see the notification that went to Veronica automatically. Uh, in the detail exactly. of things. exactly this is this is this one but again it's configurable what 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 it will be so in on general tab uh james sees more more uh, attributes than veronica because he's a he has a higher role there in the solving process this is interesting because veronica uh, saw only uh like instruct not instructions for solver but only like some information for setting expectations like there is approval pending but for solvers, we are really showing here uh, instructions, uh, which is really handy when you have a new new colleague in, in IT or different department with solving tickets. So you can really see here the steps they need to be taken. There could be like links to your knowledge base or something like that. Uh, links, they show 
possible links or relationships to other ticket in this case in, uh, to other tickets in this case there is nothing here but the objects we see we see that the apple iphone is connected here so let's let's move uh, up a little bit because when i when i click it i will i will change uh, i will be uh, redirected to like the asset management part so you can already see if you remember that Veronica saw only like three attributes, but here uh, James will see like the full detail of all the attributes, warranty expiration and so on. So and I can maybe also can notice that some of the attributes have this icon, which basically means that they are inherited from the structure and the structure we have, I think is really, really nice and our customers love it. So I will just show you the full like asset tree because that's the full context of asset management. So the Apple iPhone, you can see here that Veronica has a lot of assets or some of the assets uh, she already saw before. Uh, so yeah, maybe you have a question here. Uh, I don't have a question, but maybe just to add to that, uh, usually our customers, they buy this for IT, but uh, when they realize the full potential of this tool, uh, that they can pretty much create, you know, handover protocols for a full list of assets, for instance, for status and levers process, uh, yeah. they usually start, you know, uh, keeping track of other inventory and other assets as well. Yeah, exactly, because because there are some predefined uh, asset uh, types with their uh, you know, icons and attributes, but again, like this can be configured, you, you can, you can uh, build on it, you can create your own attributes, your own uh, um, asset types and also the permissions, set up the permissions that if you have someone who is responsible just for uh, just for like uh, company cars, for example, he will log in here and he will see only the cars, nothing more. So that's that's really nice. So it's really simple to use. Uh, OK, so what, what can we what can we show here? Maybe I, I can show you that uh, based on this uh, asset tree, uh, we are also able to do some like multiple multiple evaluation or how, how to call it. So when I just uh, click on some of some of these objects, like the whole company, I have this tab here, child object. And again, this is the same component like we saw in service desk. So I can create my own tabs with different uh, columns, like every column that exists here uh, in asset management. In this case, I just uh, created one one tab for expired warranty. So, uh, so there is specifically uh, just assets that have the warranty in the, in the past. Yeah, I think it's really really powerful, and the, the integration to the service desk is what makes it even even stronger. Yeah. All right. So that was just very quick walkthrough. Uh, but thank you for the attention and we will definitely do more of those. So stay tuned for them. Thank you. OK, bye. <laughs> bye.